And there he is, Mike Tomlin joining us. Coach, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks, Coach. Hey, coach. Oh, glad to be with you guys. Coach, uh, let, let me start off. Let me instigate this conversation. I mean, I want to know what the expectation is this season. I'm looking at a high-powered offense. I'll get to Le'Veon Bell. We all will in just a second. But what are your expectations with or without Le'Veon Bell for the Steelers this year? Give it to me. You know, we feel like we have a good, the makings of a really good team. Uh, it's been a good process for us those, thus far in terms of team development. Um, we're excited about meeting the challenges that each stadium holds. And, you know, we better be in the thick of things as the road gets narrow. That's always our intentions, to pursue and win championships each and every year. Coach, you know where I'm going. I can't believe Stephen A. didn't start with this. When is Le'Veon <laughs> Bell returning? What's the deal? What are you hearing? Um, when he gets here. Um, you know, that's kind of been my mentality. That's been our collective mentality. Um, we know what Le'Veon is capable of, his talents, and we also understand his circumstance. Uh, we've choose to focus on the variables that are within our control, and that's the guys that are here and preparing and working. Uh, when Le'Veon gets here, we'll assess his overall readiness, and then we'll start the process of getting him ready to play. Until that time, we just need to focus on the guys that we have here and their readiness, and uh, particularly their readiness this this weekend as we open uh, on the road in Cleveland. Coach, what impact has this holdout had on your team? You know, I, I think, I, you know, obviously that remains to be seen. Um, that, that's a, a, a long-term answer. Uh, but mm -hmm. to this point, very little. Uh, we've, been, we've been down this road before. Um, with, with the same components or pieces in place. And uh, more than anything, uh, it's provided opportunities for growth and development for, for James Conner, maybe opportunities that he wouldn't have had had Le'Veon been working. So I've tended to focus on that aspect of it. Uh, James Conner has had an awesome uh, offseason and training camp and preseason, and uh, he's benefited from it. Coach, strange question it might be, but I'm going to ask anyway. I've got concerns about Big Ben Roethlisberger in this regard. You've got Randy Fickner. He's the new, your new offensive coordinator. He hasn't, if I remember reading correctly, he hasn't really called plays since 2006 at Memphis or something like that, if I remember correctly. This is a high-powered offense, some elite dudes. But, Coach, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned, Coach. Should I be? How confident are you in this guy and, and him and in the relationship that he's got with Ben that the offense is going to be better this year? Hey, Stephen, I got a lot to manage, so I'm not going to worry about your level of concern. <laughs> but I'll tell you this. <laughs> um, uh, you know, R Randy has been in Pittsburgh, PA, man, going on 12 years now. He's Good. coached wide receivers within the framework of this organization, quarterbacks, and now coordinator. So um, he hadn't been delivering pizza. Uh, this guy is more than prepared. Um, um, I'm excited about what he's going to bring, and as is Ben, and uh, their partnership and relationship in the manner in which it's grown and the, and the number of hats that, that Randy has, has worn within our, our structure, I think is going to be nothing but a benefit to him. And, uh, and I'm sure he's excited about getting an opportunity to call plays again. Coach, I got to ask you something, because I was really surprised by something I heard on TV recently. So, obviously, longtime Steeler James Harrison came out, and it appeared to be taking a parting shot at you. So he said that you're a good coach, but you need to be more disciplined. What was your reaction to those comments? <laughs> it's James. <laughs> you know, what, what, what do you want my response to be? You know, we all that know James know James. James has an opinion. Uh, whether it's accurate or inaccurate is accurate from his perspective. And uh, I respect it on that level. Um, I'm not going to stay up at night worrying about his perspective, to be quite honest with you. I'm focused on specifically the guys we coach and, and how we're getting these guys ready to play this weekend in Cleveland. You guys could spend a lot of time uh, digesting and talking about James's opinion on a lot of subjects. It could be a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> coach, you guys have won a Super Bowl. Ben Roethlisberger. And, and, but, but the expectations, because you have a great coach, a great quarterback, a great running back, and a great wideout or is that this group needs to win a championship and it needs to do it before the end of this group. Can you explain to us what that means to you, a championship with this group? Um, that's always my mentality. So, um, you know, that just means normalcy to me. Um, 
You know, every day I come into work, man, I'm not trying to be good. I'm not trying to come in second. I'm not trying to be competitive. Uh, I think everybody within our organization shares that mentality. And, and that's why um, we've had such a good run here and, and have such a good working environment. We got work to do with this group in 2018 to realize our hopes and dreams. And uh, we're excited about getting, to get, getting it started this weekend uh, in Cleveland, Ohio. Coach, last question. You know me. You know me too well. You know, where I'm go you know where I'm going with this. You know what I'm worried about. I ain't worried about the offense. Le'Veon Bell, he'll be back. Antonio Brown's going to do his thing. Big Ben's going to do his thing. Damn it, Jesse James is going to do his thing. <laughs> it's that defense, Coach, that I'm concerned about, particularly that secondary. I'm concerned. Is this defense going to be better this year, sir? You know, a few years ago, Stephen, you'd asked me about the offensive line. You were concerned about the growth <laughs> and development of that young offensive line. You know, now that all of those guys go to the Pro Bowl, you don't ask me that anymore. <laughs> and uh, such is life in, uh, in our secondary. We've drafted some, inquired some young, talented guys, and they've grown and played quite a bit over the last several years, specifically Sean Davis, Artie Burns, and now Mike Hilton. Um, now it's time for those guys to, to ascend and do what that offensive line did that you no longer ask me about. Oh, please, please. Got from, from your he lips to God's he ears, me. because he, he will me. not shut up about the secondary. <laughs> Every day, I can't take it anymore. You got me, Coach. Coach. You got me. All right. Coach, okay. yeah, five just say years that. ago, you used to ask about Pouncey and DeCastro yeah. and Gilbert. You <laughs> yep. don't ask about those guys anymore. I don't anymore. ask about them anymore. <laughs> I used to ask. He's it, right. He's it, right. It's been handled. Coach, it's day two here in our new studio in New York, and we really appreciate We know how busy you are appreciate taking you, the coach. time Thank for joining you. being here for Thanks, us coach. with a, hey, our number one a, Steelers get, fan to my right. Hey, got a lot of respect for what you guys do. All the best in your endeavors. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Thank you so much.